Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam or XJaws, and every once in a while I find somebody on YouTube who is making some really good stuff and deserves a little bit more recognition, and today I found another person who definitely uh, fits into that category of a person who is making some great stuff and deserves a little bit more recognition. Uh, he's a beast of a player, and uh, instead of doing a dual commentary with him because I don't really know him that well, I just messaged him and asked him if I could uh, post one of his videos on my channel to show you guys the kind of stuff that he makes. So when he made this video, he just meant it for his channel. He didn't know that I was going to see it or ask him to upload it. So uh, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to see if you subscribe to Fear Crads. Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Mike and welcome to a, what I believe and what I freaking hope is the best team deathmatch ever maybe. I'm not sure, but it'd be really cool if it was. This is a 70 to 4 uh, a ground war stadium. However, it's like, 5v5 or 6v6 for the entire game I, I don't know no one like really wanted to join I had like my MLG tryhard so definitely all scared of me <laughs> yeah right um, unfortunately I am using the 74U please don't hate me on that this is like only my second gameplay I've ever uploaded with this weapon and as you can see right there I've just completed the AK-74U marksman challenge for getting 10 kills of the 74U in one prestige and considering I'm 40 and 50, that just shows how much I actually use this weapon. I, this is the first time I've actually set up a class with the 74U in about six prestiges. So I was a really, you know, sweaty 74U rapid fire when I first got the game, and uh, I racked up about 5k kills of it. And my second place, like on my kills leaderboard, nice little two piece here. Uh, my second place on the leaderboard had about a k. So I figured, you know, I need to stop using this gun. This gun is way overused by me. So I, I now I've I think it's like my third or fourth favorite weapon now, so it's going down a little bit. And yeah, so I'm using the 74U Extended. I pick up a AK-47 here and go on a pretty nice tear on it. I get a pretty nice kill streak. I'm using the 74U Extended on this and my AK-47 that I pick up. I think has extended mags on it as well. Uh, my kill streaks that I'm using are pretty much what you'll see from me routinely from now on is the Blackbird Chop Gunner and the Attack Dogs for my kill streaks. These kill streaks just seem to work absolutely perfect for me. Um, they really like counter work with each other. So, for example, if if you've got some Ghost Pros, Ghost Pro Halls on the opposite team blowing down air support, then you know you can rely on dogs a bit more. If they're not blowing down air support, you can be more reliant on your Chopper Gunner. If you've got both of them in at the same time, your chop gunner can kill people on the inside, and the dogs can kill people who start like, camping on the inside. So they can really like work together for kill streaks. Blackbird is just awesome. It really is amazing for any game type and anything. But uh, yeah, I just also want to say thanks for everyone who subscribed from my last 18.5. I don't know how you all found my video. I'm guessing it's from people liking it. So really that just shows how effective it is from people liking videos so if you really could like this video it really helped me out a lot and I'd really really appreciate it you know and obviously comments they're always really appreciated so anyway let's talk about the gameplay a little bit uh, honestly I'm using a submachine gun of the 74U and for perks I'm gonna recommend some perks here you're using a 74U you're using a submachine gun they're only good at close range the MP yeah, the AK-74 you might be good at medium range and the Spectre, but the all the all the others, MP5, Scorpion, MPL, they're only good at close close quarter combat. So you need to be up in their face all the time. You need to know where the enemies are. You need to be outgunning them. So lightweight is a must. You want to be get <laughs> running to their spawns quicker because you obviously rush into the spawns have changed a lot more. So you want to be up in their face all the time. Lightweight and marathon, pretty much a must for some machine guns. And then you can either you know choose by yourself what you want as a second perk, but slight of hand or steady aim is what you want to be using really. Uh, slight of hand obviously will give you the quicker aim down sight and the quicker reload. So the quicker aim down sight is a lot more useful than the quicker reload in my opinion. You're obviously using a submachine gun, you're going to be up in the face, you're going to be coming on one-on-one -on -one gunfights a lot. So slight of hand pro will be helpful. However, steady aim because you're up close once again, you might want to be hip firing them. So it's up to you what you use. I'm a big sleight of hand player, so I'm using sleight of hand. Like that. Wow. Yeah, so. There's no need for hardline. Ghost is pathetic. I just recommend sleight of hand. I can't even talk. 
Lightweight Sly Van Damme Murph and his perks, they're absolutely amazing to run in my opinion. And definitely the best. So, yeah, this is my perk recommendations. My my kill sheet recommendations to people would be what I'm using. However, I know some people really struggle to like get the kill sheets that I do, so I'd recommend like using I would recommend using a spy plane. However, everyone seems to be running ghosts recently, so they're not in this game actually. This game is pretty generous, but everyone seems to be running spy uh, ghosts, so Spy plane, maybe not as much. Maybe like an attack chopper with blackbird, maybe dogs or napalm. Attack chopper, blackbird or napalm attack, napalm, uh, blackbird dogs. Something along those lines. If you're rushing, if you want to rush effectively, you want to have like a constant UAV that you want to pay attention to. So maybe a UAV and a blackbird that'll pretty work, or maybe a UAV counter and blackbird. It's, it's really up to you what you want to make. It's personal preference. So it's uh, it's up to you. But that this is just my recommendations. Um, don't hold me to that. Don't blame me if you do bad or whatever. And uh, I pick up this org and I fail with it epically. Just watch this. It's just awful. Yeah, that's that's pretty poor anyway. I'm like spray, spraying and then magnum spraying and then trying to reload and failing to reload and getting a kill and just fail, 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 fail. Um, yeah, so. The game is actually coming to an end. It's a 70 to 4 team deathmatch, which I think is the best, maybe. But on team deathmatch, you the spawns swap a lot. I mean, a lot. You like, run to one end, pick up three kills, and need to change spawns, so you got to run the opposite end. So that's why I recommend lightweight marathon. Yeah, but the game's finished. It's a 70 to 4 team deathmatch on the map, the new map uh, from the DLC Stadium. Uh, I know I ask it a lot, but if you could, then please like the video. It really helps me out a lot, and I know you guys appreciate the video if you guys do that. Uh, comment if you want. I'm always open for like comments. I really do love reading them. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe. But this has been Mike, and have a nice day. So, bye. Or night, actually.